friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have a 30 minute meal prep for you. Three recipes ready to go in the oven, prepared and ready to cook in 30 minutes or less. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I lost 90 pounds last year counting calories and macros so I highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and of course come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get into the kitchen and let's prep three recipes in 30 minutes or less. We definitely, you definitely have time for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making chia yogurt power bowls. I'm actually really excited to have this prepared and ready to go for breakfast for the week. This is going to give us some healthy carbs, fats, and protein, lots of protein. So let me show you what's in our recipe. It is only five ingredients. First, you're going to need milk of your choice. I always use Fairlife because there's 13 grams of protein in a cup. So it not only gives me milk, but gets in a lot of protein. You're going to need raw honey, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, chia seeds, and vanilla extract. So to put together our yogurt bowl, you're going to get a pretty good size storage container because we're going to add everything to that container and then we'll portion it out throughout the week from the storage bowl. So I'm going to add two cups of plain non-fat Greek yogurt and then one and a half cups of milk of your choice. A quarter cup of chia seeds, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then three tablespoons of honey. And then we're going to stir that together until fully mixed. You want to make sure everything is mixed really well. So here is the yogurt bowl base. And then what I'm going to do is add some berries. I have a mixture of blueberries and blackberries. Pro tip, store your berries in glass mason jars. They last forever in the fridge. And then for some extra healthy fat, heart healthy fat, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon or so of walnuts. This bowl right here makes anywhere from four to six servings. I'll pop the points up here on the screen for six servings. It'll be a little bit more if you decide to go with four servings. Most likely I will just do four servings and top it with the blueberries and the walnuts. For my lunches this week, I'm making copycat chipotle chicken tacos. It is one of my favorite things at Chipotle, and this is a much more affordable, easier way to make it at home. So let me show you what's in the chicken recipe, and then at the end I'll show you how I'm going to put together my tacos and what I'm going to put on them. So you're going to need some chicken broth. You can also use water, minced garlic, tomato sauce, ground chicken, red onion, a fresh lime, and fresh cilantro. You can also use chipotle adobo peppers. That is too much spice for me, but that is in the original recipe if you wanted to add it. Into a sprayed skillet with nonstick cooking spray, I added my pound of ground chicken and my diced up red onion. We're going to allow this to cook until the chicken is browned. Once your ground turkey is cooked through, we're going to add in some minced garlic. And of course we need taco seasoning. I didn't show you this in the beginning. You can make your own. I will make sure to include the original recipe which shows you how to make your own, but I am just going to add in some of my toned taco seasoning. Give that a stir until everything is coated and your garlic is fragrant. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of chicken broth or water and an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Stir that all together and allow that to simmer over medium heat for five to seven minutes. Once it's been simmering for about five to seven minutes and you can see too that the sauce has thickened, we're going to go ahead and turn off the heat. We're going to add the juice of half of a lime and about a quarter cup of diced up fresh cilantro. Stir that all together and the meat mixture for our copycat chipotle chicken tacos is done. So here is our meat mixture. I will tell you this smells 
so good. So to put together our tacos, you can really add whatever toppings you want. What I'm going to do this week is use some of the La Banderita carb counter tortillas. I also have some light sour cream, fresh salsa and avocado. You could also add cheese, some extra fresh cilantro, whatever you would like to add to your tacos. But I am really excited for these this week. And the meat mixture itself is zero points. You can't be that. I mean, you could just eat the meat mixture for zero points or you can make it into good copycat Chipotle tacos. So I will go ahead and put all of the points, calories, nutrition information here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I am making banana bread, but we're doing a healthy spin on this. We're adding in some really good healthy ingredients and making delicious banana bread. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some non-fat plain Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, light butter, all-purpose flour, sweetener alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto granulated. My all-time favorite. To me, it tastes the most like regular sugar. I love it, especially with baking. I will link Lakanto in the description box with 15% off site-wide. You'll need flax, seed, meal, eggs, cinnamon, baking soda, and some really, really ripe bananas. So into a large bowl, we're going to add three to four bananas. Mine are a little bit on the small side, so I'm going to go ahead and do four, and then we are going to mash them up really well. Now the riper, the better. Mine are pretty ripe. Mine are a little bit overripe. I bought them not too long ago, but if you can get yours even more ripe and mushy than mine, that would be even better. Into the mashed banana, we're adding one cup of Lakanto granulated, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one third of a cup of a non-fat plain Greek yogurt, two eggs, and then mix that together. And then we're going to add in our five tablespoons of melted light butter, and again, give that another stir. Then we're adding in one and a half cups of flour, a quarter cup of flax meal, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and about a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then give that another stir. Spray your loaf pan with nonstick cooking spray, and then add in the banana bread mixture. I like to spread that out as even as I can, and then you can even tap it or shake it a little bit to get it nice and even. We're putting our banana bread in a 350 degree oven for about 50 to 55 minutes, or until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. I just pulled our banana bread out. It smells incredible in here like a little bakery. I am going to let this cool for just a couple of minutes. I'll pop it out of the pan, slice it up, and I'll be back to share points, calories, serving size, and all of the macros. So I went ahead and cut my loaf into 12 pieces. So I have six per half. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the other half. So I'm going to do 12 slices. You could do eight, you could do 16, whatever your preference is. But I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are excited about these 30 minute recipes. Literally everything was in the oven ready to go in 30 minutes or less. That is an incredible to get in three recipes in that amount of time. So we can all make time. We can all have 30 minutes to fit in a little bit of prep to make us successful for the week. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget all of my recipes are on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.